All right, so what we're going to do is work with the quiz that we've set up to um, add some fields that will mark each question and get us a total. And as well, we'll create a message at the end. And all of that will be inputted into the form mule uh, script once we get there. So uh, my quiz was um, generated and I've gone through once and completed the quiz, that's giving me my answer key on the first line here. So we're going to scroll across and uh, the first thing I'm going to need to do is to add some more columns. So I'll put some more columns in here and that's just to uh, score things. And I'm going to write in each of the questions that I've got. So. Each question needs to have its own column header, just in terms of the script being able to work properly. Now I'm going to put in a column for a total, one for a percentage, and one for a message. For this quiz here, all I want to check is to make sure that the answer that the student submits matches up with the answer in the answer key. So I happen to know that my first question answer falls in F2. So I'm going to use a formula. Okay, this is the formula that we're going to use. If F2 equals F dollar sign 2 comma 1 comma 0. What that means is check the cell in F2. If it matches the value in F2, score it with a 1. If it doesn't match, give it a 0. We can use this because it's a multiple choice question. The dollar sign in the second F2 means that the response will be always checked against F2. So as we get responses 4, 5, and 6, this formula will change moving down uh, the rows. So if F3 equals F dollar sign 2, if F4 equals F dollar sign 2, um, that will ensure that we're, always check that we're always checking against our answer key. In this row, it's going to be 1 because obviously we're checking it against the cell. Once I've got that first question done, I can highlight all the way over to question 10 and I can use Control R on the Mac or the PC to copy the formula over. And so if you look up here, you can see that FN2 equals N$2. Then we want to get a total. So equals sum and add up all of these questions. There's 10 questions, 10 points. Uh, we'll give it a percentage. So equals the total out of the total number of questions times 100 and a message. So we're going to use another if statement here. Now the bar for a pass on these Google quizzes is 8. So We'll use this if statement again. So if the total is greater than 7, the message will be congratulations ninja. You have earned your Google Docs green belt. Notice that that's in quotation marks. We put a comma. If the student got a 7 or less, the message will be keep trying, Ninja. Use the resources provided to search for your 
answers and enter and so we get the correct message here okay now that I've got my template set up to score things I can start using the formula script so what I need to do is go up to the tools menu and click on script gallery and I'm going to search for formula here it is I'll click install going to install the program. It'll take a minute to do that. And I get my notification that it's ready to go. I click OK. And I'll go up to the top. Click on Run Initial Installation. It's going to tell me what's going on. I'll click OK. And I'm going to give it access to my Google Calendar. OK. Let's run that script again. So back to the formula menu, run initial installation. Okay, so the script is run. Here's my uh, set of instructions for the script. And you can read that if you want. I would recommend it. I'm going to go jump back to my sheet. And I'm going to start telling the formula what to do. So I'm going to define my merge source settings. Takes a few seconds for all of these scripts to run. Okay, so I want to create a case number and copy down the formula rows. That's what's actually going to allow it to score each quiz as it comes in from the students. Now I'm going to select copy the results as values and then I will say, okay, I want each of these questions to form or to be copied down. And I'll click Save Settings. And you'll see some work happening in the background behind the dialog box. I'll just let that run. And I'll click OK. Once you've got your form set up with your form mule and all of your uh, formulas appear to be working properly, what you want to do is test it out by running your form. You might want to just wait a moment or so just to make sure that all of these scripts have run and uh, the form is working properly. So we'll go to form, go to live form, test it out. And I'm just going to go through and click on the first option in each one of these. Make sure that it's working properly. Okay, and I'll go back to my quiz and you can see that all the data has been collected and it has scored my quiz. So you could do that a few times if you wanted, test it with a uh, correct response, test it with a score of 7, a score of 8, score of 9, just to make sure that your uh, message is uh, the correct one. But I'm going to move on from that and I'm going to set up an email merge. So I want to turn on the email and I want it to be triggered each time uh, the form is submitted. So that means each time that the su student submits the quiz, the email will automatically be sent out. I'm just going to leave this stuff here, um, but you can have different templates go out, one to the student, one to the teacher. I'm just going to leave them all the same. Submit settings. All right, and I will put in the uh, username for this account has the reply to address. Um, 
the to address, I will take the student email. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to these list of tokens down here. And these are basically codes that the computer will recognize. So the email is going to go to oops, student or teacher email. So I'll copy that code from the dollar sign all the way to the close brackets. And I will get the uh, additional email address code and put that in the CC. Now if you wanted to, you could also add a comma and put in the teacher's email address so that you always had a copy uh, upon submission of the form. So I could put in that same address here. Subject, and this will be the Google Docs Green belt quiz results four, and I'm going to take the student's first name and put that into the subject line. Okay. So the body will be the message that I sent, so I'll get that token or code. I'll paste that and then I can use a little bit of HTML. Uh, this uh, code just means putting in line breaks so I can separate the message from the actual score. So I'm going to have the student's name now so I'll copy that. You can type these out as well. So first name Last name from, I'm going to take the school code, school word, and we'll get their total. out of 10 on the Google Docs Green Belt Quiz. And the rest of this I don't worry about. Okay, so now when I go ahead and do the test again or submit the go to the live form test student 2 my school and YRDSB and let's give this student a score of 8. Okay, so that's all correct. So let's change a couple of things. So we get a score of eight and submit it. Okay, so I've got my quiz submitted. And if I go back to my sheet, I can see that I've got test student two, my school, all the correct information here, and the score is eight. And I got that. And it also confirms that the email was sent to uh, the YRDSB GAPS account and anyone who was CC'd on it. And so if I was to go to that Gmail account and check it, I should see two responses. Congratulations, Ninja, you've earned your Google Docs green belt.
And that's it. That's all you need to know to start using Formule to automatically mark quizzes and send the results out to students, parents, teachers, whomever. The nice thing is that you've got this spreadsheet where you can keep all of the marks together as well.